What's up, locals? Well, today we take a look at the all new first run Pastaplas Vass. Josh, you're gonna probably correct me if I said that wrong, but uh, this is the newest release from Castaplas. It is a 12.5 minus 1.52. Just that little bit of dependable stability that you want. So not a super overstable 12 speed. Uh, this one should be fairly straight flying. I don't typically throw much over a nine or even a 10 speed. Uh, so this is uh, not a disc that I would typically throw. This disc is gonna be pretty compelling for some people, especially you know if you like that Castaplast K1 plastic. This has got a great feel in hand, and you know it's got that nice little bit of give to it. You know I personally find Castaplast K1 I think is one of the best feeling plastics, especially a premium mold. So me myself, I'm about a 300 foot thrower typically, so this is gonna be a very like average disc golfer experience with this disc. Uh, what intrigues me about this disc actually is it on a forehand. Um, I can say after just a couple of throws here, uh, just a couple of warm-up throws, that here we are at, ele at elevation, which means we're about a thousand meters above sea level, which means this disc typically flies um, more over stable for me than um, you know the majority of you that are closer to sea level. And I've also got a little tailwind right now, which typically in a tailwind you would disc down in terms of stability, you would not be disking up. So uh, this disc, you know, you're probably going to see some pretty, you know, aggressive fades at the end of this disc. Where, you know, if you're a 350, 400 foot thrower, over 400, you know, closer to sea level, you might actually have this disc, you know, in a situation where you're releasing it on a hyzer angle, and it's actually flipping up to flat for you. Um, and getting some nice carry. This is a very interesting disc for someone that has a bigger arm, and uh, I, you know, I imagine if you can get this disc to flip, uh, you could see some pretty incredible distance out of it. That won't be the case for me, uh, but I did want to show how a disc like this flies if you've got an arm that you know is about 290 to 350, I would say on the, on the on the hole. So uh, anyway, we're gonna give this a few throws. We're gonna try a flat release initially. And just as I said, yeah. Pretty much what I expected and a pretty nice flight. It feels really comfortable in the hand. This coming from someone that doesn't typically throw a 12 speed. I really, really liked the feeling of that. Came out, it snapped out real well. The flight was what I expected, you know, at elevation and being a 12 speed. I didn't expect that disc to like, you know, turn over any for me. Um, but uh, for what that disc is, I think that's a, you know, a great starting point for uh, meeting my expectations so far. Cool, so first flight there was 307. Uh, pretty good distance actually for the very first throw of the review here. Uh, I am measuring these today with my GoTo range finder. And uh, thank you GoTo for sending us your disc golf range finder. We've got a video which I will either leave in the cards up top or down in the description if you're curious for more information on it. But uh, we're gonna try this thing this time being that there is a light tailwind. I'm gonna try this on a pretty, pretty good little Anheuser, see if I can even get a bit more distance out of it with that Annie line and give it some height and uh, see if I can turn this thing a little bit. Here we go. That was definitely farther. Um, it didn't fight out of that ante as fast as I thought it was going to, or as much as I thought it should have, but uh, that had a great line to it, really, really held. And you know, with that 12 speed rim, as soon as it started to fight out, hopefully the camera shows it, but you got a really big flare skip too. So, you know, if distance was your key, or you know, if you had some obstructions on the right hand side initially that you had to get around, but then you needed to get back with like sort of a true S flight, you know, that ground play, if that's what you need, this could be an amazing disc for that. All right, so that last one was 343 actually. It was uh, further than the basket even. So um, really significant distance, especially for me uh, with a disc like this. So uh, very impressive distance, uh, you know, we're, that throw was not far off of, you know, my furthest. So uh, really, 
impressive distance for a disc like this. I would say two for two with the vast so far. Let's give it another one. And right into those trees. That was a pretty like aggressive hyzer line that we went with there. A shorter flight there, but you know with something like a 12 speed like this with a five glide, you know, it's gonna hold that hyzer line. It's gonna carry. Um, again, I'm, I'm gonna lose distance with that angle. You know, for me, putting it on a hyzer, you know, is gonna shorten that range. Um, it, is gonna, it is gonna hold a hyzer line. All right, we'll try a forehand throw real quick here. See what we can do to kind of get this a uh, little bit of distance. If you don't know me or this channel, um, forehand has been a weakness of mine, so I don't expect to have big distance here. What I am hoping for is to, you know, kind of release it on a little bit of an ante and hopefully, you know, kind of get it to get it to flex, get it to fight out at the end. Oh, wow. I've never, I don't think I've ever thrown a forehand that far. I don't think I even measure my forehands because I've just never taken them seriously. With a 12 speed, because this thing has such great glide and not a ton of overstability, this actually could be a great disc for my average forehand here in the mountains at elevation because even though this is a 12, five minus one, two, one and two, one and a half, two, um, this actually might fly really great um, as my forehand. So I'm gonna have to maybe do a follow-up video looking at this with the Destroyer because this is a very interesting, could be an interesting option. All right, let's put this on one more any line and see if we can just, um, I gotta see if I can throw this thing further than what I did because um, that was one of the furthest throws I've done. All right, let's do it, here we go. I am clearly short of the basket, but that thing on an ante line, uh, just ripping on it, you know, it actually holds the line pretty well. And it's um, a beautiful flight. And I would have to say for people that again, have a bigger arm speed, you're gonna see this thing probably like hold flat for a while. I am, uh, I'm really impressed by this disc. You know, I, you come into a review like this, looking at a 12 speed disc and you're, I'm already thinking like, okay, well, I'm gonna film it. And I'm gonna show people like what an average arm looks like with this disc. But, uh, you know, on that Annie line, uh, getting, getting 340, uh, that's a day for me. That's a, it's probably not my longest throw ever, but it's not far off. It's, it's getting very close to that. Now, again, it's an Annie line, you know, where I'm trying to maximize distance and I got quite a flare skip out of it as well. It's an interesting disc. If you feel like, you know, the, the cloud breakers are too overstable for you and the Mambas are too understable and you're just wishing that there was kind of this like in between, could be a great in-between option. So um, anyway, I uh, wanted to just do a very quick review today looking at the vast, celebrating the local community that makes this sport so great. My name is Ryan. This is local. We are local.